This episode is brought to you by King of Beards. This is my online shop where you can find high quality products that will help you grow a strong, healthy beard that not only looks great, but also will smell great as well. Definitely the people in your life that like to get up and close with you are gonna thank you for this one. These are products that I use personally. The link is below in the video description section and if you use my coupon code KING, you'll get 15% off on your first order. Hey there FTB fam, this is Khalil with another video. The Andrew Tate situation gets worse. I, I mean, someone calls him the gift that keeps on giving. I call him another human, like he's another guy that puts on his um, pants one foot at a time. His doesn't smell any better or any worse than mine. His name is Andrew Tate and mine is Khalil. But here we are. Let's go ahead and take a look <laughs> for those who care. Because there are plenty of people out there, and me from time to time. All right, let's go. This is a video clip taken on the 31st of December 2022, featuring wow. Andrew and Marie Tate being escorted into a police van whilst handcuffed. So you're probably asking yourself why he's in this situation, but the truth isn't something you would expect. Hi, I'm the Internet Anarchist. I create weekly YouTube documentaries, and today we'll be holding an investigation on Andrew Tate's arrest and what this could mean for the future of the Tate brothers, a case that the entire internet seems to be divided on. Andrew's troubles with the justice system would begin in 2015, when a woman who previously lived and worked in his home would file a complaint against him. These weren't just any ordinary complaints that you'd get a slap on the wrist for. These were allegations of Andrew being physically violent towards her. And within a couple of weeks, Andrew would find his door being knocked down by the police, who would then take him in for questioning she went to the police oh shit and told the police i hit her when i didn't Whoa. Uh. so it's five in the morning and this is about four months later five in the morning four months later i'm laying in bed girl here girl here <laughs> chilling living the life and i heard the door boom 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 and i don't know how i knew i just knew it was police the way they knocked that door i was yeah. like if you were gonna rob me, you'd kick the door in, or you, you this is just too obvious. And, and as soon as I heard that noise, I just paused for a second, I heard, police! And I was like, ah, man. Damn it. <laughs> I was like, ah. Throughout the raid, most of Andrew's electronics would be seized and searched, but after a four year investigation, the case would find itself being closed, deeming Andrew Tate innocent based on the lack of evidence. The incident left Andrew with a lasting resentment towards the legal system in the UK, and it was so difficult for him that he would decide to move to Romania in Romania. order to avoid similar situations in the future. And although Andrew thought he had put his troubled past behind him, fate had other plans when Romanian authorities would raid his home in April of 2022. The reason for this raid was that he was suspected for holding two women hostage, one of which was allegedly a US citizen. Andrew once again found himself in a rather difficult situation, but determined to prove his innocence just as he had before, Andrew and his brother Tristan would deny all the allegations and label the entire incident as an act of quote swatting. Swatting is when someone makes a fake emergency call pretending that there's a dangerous situation, all in an attempt to get the police or SWAT team to go to the other person's house, and at the time, the Tate brothers would actually be arrested by the Romanian police, but in similar events to the first time this happened, they would later be released from police custody. However, once again, would have their electronics and other items confiscated as it would be needed for future investigations. It was also around this time that Andrew began gaining popularity on the internet, and when news corporations and Twitter users began calling Andrew a violent misogynist that beats and traffics women. And with his previous arrests and meme-worthy quotes, can you really blame someone who would believe these accusations to be true? One of the messages Andrew would spread was a theory that he would be censored and banned from social media for promoting a narrative and ideology that encourages males to stop being lazy and incels, which was the opposite to what he describes the Matrix agenda as, which he describes as encouraging laziness and femininity in men. This would lead up to October of 2022, when Andrew's predictions would come into fruition, as he'd be strategically banned across not only all mainstream social media platforms, but even big tech apps such as Uber and several banking apps. Oh, the mass wow, censorship wow. of Andrew 
Andrew Tate actually caused society to pay more attention to him, and free speech YouTube alternative <laughs> Rumble would recognize his banning as an opportunity and would go mm. on to approach Andrew with a $100 million <laughs> contract. This was Aww. great news for Andrew, since the only other platform he had access to was live television, where the host would openly antagonize him. The good news for Andrew wouldn't stop there. Following Elon Musk's acquisition of Twitter, many popular accounts that were banned for various reasons would be reinstated, including Andrew's profile at Cobra Tate. With both his new Rumble account, which has around 300,000 subscribers, and his recovered Twitter account, Andrew would be back on his way to making a comeback on social media. However, getting his Twitter account back wouldn't be completely beneficial for him. On the 27th of December 2022, Andrew would finish the year by getting himself into an online controversy that would hold unimaginable consequences. In a tweet targeting climate activist and meme Greta Thunberg, Andrew would flex his exotic car collection and attempt to trigger her with the amount of pollution he exhausts. Although Greta Thunberg is already a meme and an easy target to ratio, the internet looked down upon a grown man publicly trying to annoy a teenager. And yeah. what would make things worse for Andrew is that Greta would actually snap back with a deadly tweet that would gain almost 4 million likes. Refusing to take the L, Andrew would create a response to the tweet in a laughable video that would ultimately lead up to his arrest. So you're probably asking yourself how a simple video on Twitter could lead to him being arrested. And the answer for that lies in the fact that the investigators were closely monitoring Andrew's social media posts and would notice that the branding on the pizza boxes were from a company named Jersey's Pizza, which is a Romanian-based pizza business. This small but critical piece of information would alert the police of Andrew's presence in Romania. Armed with this knowledge, Romanian law enforcement would implement search warrants and mobilize officers who would go on to raid Tate's residence, where Andrew and his brother Tristan would be immediately taken into police custody, spawning this viral video. In a press release made by the Directorate of the Investigation of Organized Crime and Terrorism, the charges brought against Andrew would be revealed to the public. The document starts by outlining suspicions of Andrew, his brother, and two other individuals constituting a crime group involving trafficking. Dicot stated the methods used by the group involved recruiting girls by quote, misrepresenting their intention to enter a marriage slash cohabitation relationship and the existence of genuine feelings of love. According to law enforcement, the victims would be transported, housed, and forced to perform adult demonstrations for the purpose of producing and disseminating through social media platforms. They would go on to state that six victims had been identified. The second group of charges stated in the press release were in relation to the crime of the four letter R word, where it was stated that quote, an injured person was forced on two different occasions by a suspect through the exercise of physical violence and psychological pressure to have redacted. On the 5th of January 2023, Vice would release an interview with one of the girls that made a police report back in 2015, which he claimed that Andrew S. aid her as well as other girls in his residence. Throughout the interview, she would go on to detail about how she met Andrew, her working conditions, and the events she would go on to witness in his home. In the wake of these allegations and Andrew's arrest, the reactions from the internet ranged anywhere from complete disbelief and outrage all the way to joy and approval. But it seemed like Andrew's supporters weren't so quick to jump the gun, and that was mainly due to the fact that Andrew had seemingly predicted that this would happen months prior when describing the three strike system of the Matrix. And who is they? Well, that's a good question. <laughs> Even if I knew all their names, I wouldn't say it here. <laughs> but uh, Why wouldn't you say it here? I wouldn't say it here because they've already given me quite a few warnings. And I'm now at the point where I actually truly believe they're going to try and kill me. I, I, so I, you've had messages from people I, trying to control you who you think would kill you? I understand that you get three strikes in this game. Strike one is they try and shut you up and discredit you, which I've just been through. Strike two is they try and put you in jail for no reason, and strike three is they kill you. And one of my strikes is now gone, and I now firmly believe that they're gonna try and kill me because they want me to be quiet and I'm not being quiet. And I have huge amounts of influence, which is what they're scared of.
Whilst many users on the internet will confidently label and describe Andrew as a quote trafficker, it is worth noting that he doesn't have any prior criminal record as of making this video. Several celebrities, commentary channels, and close friends of Andrew, such as his girlfriend, would take to social media to state their stance on the situation. The innocent until proven guilty perspective would be widely expressed across the internet, and especially by those who knew him closely, such as Aiden Ross and Valuetainment, whom have both featured Andrew on several of their streams. I don't know exactly the details of uh, Tate's arrest, but here's what I do know. A day after he publicly calls out one of Woke's heroes, Greta Thunberg, they raid his place? Strange timing. Meanwhile, we haven't seen anyone from Epstein's list arrested. Weird. Strange. All right, Chad, look, I just woke up to some crazy, catastrophical, 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 catastrophical news about Andrew Tate and Tristan Tate. They just got raided and arrested in um, Romania. Listen, it's over some sexual trafficking. Um, I don't know what to believe. I don't, I don't, I don't know what's going on. All I know is there was like a, some Twitter feud with someone named Greedy, Greta, Greta or Greta or something like that, Greedy. And um, something happened where she basically said something like email me or something like that. And she texted her email and then boom, the whole Twitter went crazy. You got like 3 million likes on it or something like that. I just hope, um, hope it isn't true for one. Um, Andrew and Tristan. I love you. It was evident that this sentiment wasn't just shared by Andrew's friends, with a tweet stating, People hate Andrew Tate so much that they would rather women were actually trafficked and abused rather than see him walk free and innocent. Anyone else noticing this? Andrew seems to be genuinely worried for himself for the first time since he's been in the spotlight. So like, what are your plans now? Or like, what do you feel about what's happened to you? And what's your, what's your moves? Or I mean, I don't expect you to reveal them, but what's your plans? Yeah, so the Matrix attacked me. Yeah. They tried to remove me from social They've media. They used their bullets. They used their bullets. I'm still all over social media, so they failed. They failed. What's scary about it, the only thing I will say I don't like about being banned is that you get three lives when you attack powerful people. They first ban you and try and shut you up. Secondly, they'll put you in jail for something you didn't do. And mm. thirdly, they'll kill you. So I've used my first life, which is kind of upsetting. When you know that next is going to be some false charges. The two worst ones. Yeah. yeah and and af if you survive the false charges, you just die. Jesus. So it's, that's kind of upsetting. Andrew's ex-girlfriends coming out in support of him seemed to be a trend, as on the 2nd of January, another one of his exes would release a video expressing her thoughts on Andrew's predicament. That is absolutely false. I have lived with Andrew for years and years, and he would never do anything like this, ever. He um, is not a human trafficker. He would never anybody. And he would certainly never ever human traffic anyone either, including his brother. They would never do such thing. I am just so shocked and I'm so fed up with all of these lies. The response from his ex-girlfriends could be seen as critical in helping Andrew's case, since they would have been in a similar situation as the alleged. And with all that said, we are still left with one question. Where is Andrew? As of this upload, the Tate brothers are still in police custody. However, on the 9th of January 2023, one of them would be taken to the hospital to receive routine treatment oh. due to a medical oh. condition. The Tates tried to get out of prison on the basis that they had kids to look after, but were promptly denied their freedom. What do you think about this controversial situation? Uh, what do I think about this controversial situation? I feel sorry for the young ladies who could have been crying out uh, in need of some type of assistance and by virtue of whoever this powerful uh, man by the name of Andrew Tate is, their voices were silenced. That's exactly how I feel about the situation. That's how I feel. What are we doing? Goodness gracious. Yeah, guys. Andrew Tate, it, like, do you see how the ties just totally turned? This had no, we were going goo goo gaga two weeks ago about Andrew Tate and his conversion uh, to Islam. Even before that, two two weeks to, two to four weeks before that, we were talking about, oh my gosh, Andrew Tate's at a mosque. Oh, what's he doing now? Is he thinking about Islam? Four to six weeks before, I'm thinking about the young ladies. That's what I'm thinking about. I'm really thinking about them. And I hope they're okay. I'm thinking about their families. That's what I'm thinking about. Right? I'm thinking about just... Uh, gosh. 
All right, guys, thank you so much. This is Khalil signing out. Take care and be good.